Paul, all that hard work in the Challenge Cup round robin section. You finished top of your group and a quarter final against the Edinburgh Capital starting Wednesday tonight. Um, just thoughts going up there and, and thoughts of the process of, of this two legged fixture. Well, we've been going to Scotland a lot. I mean, I think it's our third time in two and a half weeks and, you know, going up and down. It's, we all know the travel in this league and we travel on the day of a game. It's tough. It's tough for everybody. And uh, so we've got to go up there and be compact and be smart. I mean, we got off to a great start against them and we let them back in. They have a great skill set. I like their team. Uh, but it's two legs, it's six periods. And we've got to go in controlled and hopefully come away with a lead. I mean, that's what we're, you know, we're aiming to do, to bring it back to our Sheffield on, on Saturday. And then hopefully Saturday, you know, hopefully we ram the place out on Saturday because sometimes I, I feel the atmosphere in here is so dull. And uh, I hope our fans can uh, really create that atmosphere and, and drive us forward. And, uh, and of course, what we do on the ice <laughs> generates the atmosphere as well. I'm not under any illusions. So but between the team and the fans, let's, uh, let's get it rocking in Ice Sheffield. Because when it is, when we play to that, that kind of ambiance mm -hmm. here, it, it, it honestly dissipates through the bench. It really does. Just quickly talk to us about uh, the, the fixture itself. Do you go up there with a different mindset because it is a two-legged game than you would on a league game? Uh, it's, it's strange. You know, we, I've been involved in this you know, two-legged affairs for years and years in British ice hockey, but you, you've just got to go and be controlled and, and, and look to come away with the, you know, with, the, with the right result and not really think of it over you know, two legs. But it's hard not to. Yeah. It is and hard it, not and, to. And this is a different Edinburgh side, isn't it, than we've been useful. As, as we speak here, you know, they've had a great win uh, on Sunday against Coventry. This is a good team, especially in their own building. Oh, yeah, they're good. I mean, no bones about it. There isn't a bad team in this league, David. You know, whether you're in 10th place or whether you're in 1st place, you know, you can see, you know, the players, the point per games. You know, there's no one getting five points per game anymore. You know, there's no one got 50 points in 10 games. I mean, it's a good league with good players. And, and if you don't turn up and you don't have a good night, you don't win. And uh, this is the first time they've been in the Challenge Cup quarterfinals. I think for seven, eight years, I, think, you know, I spoke to Scott. So they're going to be pretty excited about that. You know, just making it was a big thing for them. And they'll want to move forward in that. But, you know, it's a, it's a trophy that we want to move forward in as well.